Here we are at activity five. Now this is going to be a two-part lesson and this is an excellent lower level lesson. You can start with it with the preps, but the second part I would only extend to the grade ones and twos. We're going to look at line, but we're going to do paper sculpture. So the first thing you can show and talk about is Hunter Vasa's lines, again, going around a shape. So you can flick through many pictures because this is a reoccurring theme as we know. And we're going to do it, but instead of drawing, we're going to work with paper. Now I've done this with the preps and they loved it and it displays well and it's fun. So it's very, very simple. What we want to do is have an array of cover paper, bright colours. It doesn't have to be cover paper. You might want to use felt or the felted paper. You can use any paper that you choose. Today we're using the cover paper and you need a glue stick and you need a pair of scissors. Really simple equipment. So you start with your piece of paper and you just cut a small shape and it has to be small to start off with and it really doesn't matter what shape. Now I like to have a gluing piece of paper at the side so my table doesn't get sticky and I just glue on the back and stick that onto another piece of paper using the scraps. Now here comes the contour and the line work. So now the students have to cut around that shape. And I always love cutting activities because I feel that the students don't get enough. Color choices, you might wanna limit them you might choose mood colours, you might talk about emotions with the colours, warm colours, how they make you feel warm, cool colours. So, and you just repeat this and your paper grows. Now, when I did this with the preps, some of their shapes were, and cutting was fantastic. I was really delighted. Some started with a triangle, a little square, odd shape, it doesn't matter. And off you go. So that is the first part of the lesson. You've got bright colours. You can do it in a colour theory class again, limiting colours or letting them use all the colours. And you've got the contour lines. You've got your fine motor skills. And you can stop the lesson there. That, that can be a lesson on its own. And just to show you what I mean, if you display your work, these stand alone as artworks. So you could have them displayed on a wall. Black looks good because it's got so much colour and pops. You could also use these as flower shapes and use the chenille stems to create the lollipop trees. And this could be a border or a, a main display. And you could have it like that. You could add leaves if you like. You could get them to repeat it and make it their own artwork. But we're going to use it for something different. Now for the extension part of this activity five. We've made our contour paper. And now we're going to reflect on Hunter Vasa's architecture. So 
he was an architect and that's 3D and making buildings and we're also going to look at it being really decorative. And this is a lower level activity, so it's a little bit of play as well. We don't want to make it too difficult. Now, the equipment that you need are the coloured paper plates, sequins, a stapler, scissors, and double-sided sticky tape. The double-sided sticky tape is optional. You can use super tack. But as you'll see when I show you how to do this, this works really well for the younger children because sometimes gluing and the super tack becomes difficult and they lose interest or they haven't got the perseverance where the way we use this takes a lot of that out. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off with a paper plate and I'm gonna make two shapes for you. The first one is a simple cone shape. So you just cut to about halfway. Okay, there we go. And there we go, and pull it across like that. And I'm going to just put a staple in. Okay, so that's already looking like a rooftop. Another way is to put a few cuts in. And you can show students both ways and let them challenge themselves. And just pull it in at the corners. And this is going to make a abstract shape, which I quite like. And we know Hunter Vasa was very abstract and he liked peculiar shapes. So this works really well. Okay. I'm not going to use the cone. I'm going to go with the peculiar shape because I like it. So what we're going to do is take our work. I've made a few. I have the luxury, but I'm just going to pick one because your students will probably only have it had a chance to make one. And you can now cut into this. And that can be part of your building. I'm gonna cut into mine into quarters. Okay. So now I'm going to stick it on. You can stick this part on with glue, but I'm going to stick to the double-sided sticky tape. And then I'm going to do all the embellishments with the sequins. You can use some of the jewels if you have them left over. You could use buttons. I've got the diamond-shaped sequins, you'll see, as I do it. And I'm just going to now decorate it like a rooftop with all the sequins. I'm going to work on this for a little while. And that's how you incorporate the previous artwork into this extension piece. So I've got my contour lines and now I'm going to start with the decorations. Now the sticky tape, double sided sticky tape, I'm going to make a bit longer now. And you're going to see what I mean and this is going to help the students with the use of sequence. If I was using glue, it's very fiddly, so with the double-sided sticky tape, you can just press the heat from your finger and go straight on like that. And it doesn't get sticky, and it's a lot more fun. <laughs>
So there we go, we've completed our rooftop and we've got it all nice and ornate. Remembering that I chose to use the double-sided sticky tape because I find it easier that I don't have sticky fingers and I find the application of the sequins easier. But you can also use match, match sticks and a bit of super tack, so that's up to you. Um, the students may need a little bit of assistance picking off the white paper, but they will get the hang of it and they need that perseverance.